we're going to talk about the most common problems that you might face when you're using an Android TV box. So the main problem that I've seen with the Android TV box, especially the Chinese cheap ones, is on connecting to the Wi-Fi. If you're connecting your Android TV box over Wi-Fi, you'll see that after a, a few weeks or months, you start realizing that it will not connect to the internet. The internal Wi-Fi adapter is very weak. And then even if you have a very good Wi-Fi, you have very poor quality. Or sometimes it will refuse to connect at all. And there are some times whereby if you try to scan for any network, you won't be able to get any. It will just switch off automatically. So what I did to solve this problem is um, I just connected my TV box straight to the router using a cable. That's the best way of solving this problem. Because even if you go to the shops there and you buy a new Wi-Fi adapter, you will still have that same problem. So I'll advise you, you just get a cable, you just get an Ethernet cable and connect directly to the router. And the second problem that I've seen with this Android TV boxes is that if you use them continuously for a couple of hours, let's say 10 or so hours, you'll see that it will end up freezing and it will not respond to whatever that should be doing on the remote. This is mainly due to overheating. So the easy way of solving this is switching off the box, just disconnect the power cable, switch it off and then let it cool down. And then after some few minutes, if you reconnect it and then turn it on, you will see that you won't have any problems. So most of these TV box, they tend to overheat and there is no internal cooling system to cater for the overheating. So that's why it will end up freezing. And this is usually with the cheap Chinese boxes. If you're using the expensive one, the better quality ones, you see that you will not meet uh, most of these um, problems. And there are some times whereby everything will be working, you'll be having a very good quality on the video, but there won't be any audio. In other words, the audio will be on mute. But even if you press the volume up button, you will not be able to, to raise the volume. So what you can do is uh, if you have a wireless mini keyboard, just go to the keyboard and then use the plus sign. So you have to press shift first and then you press the plus sign. You see that the volume will be increased and then from there you'll be able to, to hear all the sounds. And there are some times whereby some applications will be having volume and some applications will not be having volume. So you just go to the application that does not have volume and then you do uh, what I've just said. And that should solve that problem of your volume. So the third problem that I've also seen is not really directly due to the Android TV box, but because of its surrounding. So there are some times whereby uh, when you switch on your Android TV box, that indicator light will be on. That shows that the Android TV box is on, but there won't be any pictures on the TV. So usually the problem will be on the cables, the HDMI cable that is coming from the TV, TV box to your TV. So just make sure that the cables are connected correctly and also check on the TV if you're on the right HDMI because most of our TVs will be having three HDMI ports and then you have to select HDMI cable that should be connected to your Android TV box. So that's one of the problems that uh, you can also find and uh, this one can be easily solved by just working on your cables. And last but not least, you realize that um, when you're watching especially live shows, you see that um, the frames might freeze continuously and it will be difficult for you to watch obviously if you're watching a, a, a real a real time event or even if you're watching a movie on netflix you need a continuous picture and then if the picture starts freezing and freezing and freezing you will not be able to enjoy it so that is usually due to poor internet connection so all you have to do is you have to select a lower quality so just go to, to your remote and then select a lower quality if maybe you, you are on um, full hd just go down maybe to 720 pixels and most of the times you'll be able to watch a smooth uh, video.